if this video doesn't say 15 minutes on it, it's not complete. They keep chipping me. I don't know why. I think, I think uh, I'm overpowering them. Um, what I want to mention right now is that um, I'm not sure where I left off on my last video, but the queen of spades is the black beta spade. Okay, she only supports spirit. Okay, that's, you see what she has here. Now I'm going to show you this design somewhere else. You see her center. Okay, I'm not sure if she's spirit, just a spirit. I think she's what transports the red spirit into us and into the earth. That's why all these lines are slanted. In all reality, you can say they're sevens or they're zeds, okay? Because, like I said, and I'm going to do, I'm hoping uh, to do a video on um, how all the numbers come to be actually just one and how they broke open to become the top nine numbers or digits, whatever you want to call them. Anyways, the king of spades has the line going up and down in his stomach. You see the red going across? That's the red spirit of man, east-west. He's the beta spade. Okay? He's the beta godfather. That's who he is. You see those feathers? And this, I think, I think I made a mistake. The other one is the beta, right, godfather, right. Now in this one, you see, he shows all eight directions right here in his stomach. So he's showing all the worlds. All the worlds he shows, all nine worlds. So I'm assuming this is God. This one here. His hair on this side goes up like a D, and over here, just under his chin, it's only one time, and it curls. Can I show you closer? Like an E, D E, day. In French, it means dice. On this side, it curls up to a six underneath the chin, but it's also curling backwards to an E because you have to face each other. You always have to face yourself, right? So your angel and you, and you always face yourself. Now up here, his curls in his hair, okay, are up like sixes. If you flip it and want to watch the down part, because this is actually the way the world is, it is upside down. That's why when I bend the card, this spot right here, there's a dot on it, a gold dot, and there's one here. When I bend the card, they do not follow the sword. They cut everything in half, showing the spliced worlds together. I mean, it's obviously, otherwise everything would be a reflection of each other, okay? So down here he has his hair, nine, and then over here it's backwards, because they're both the birth. This is the nine birth I split in half. I split that birth in half, and I make it four and a half. I multiply it by ten, because beta world is two and eight, ten, okay? And it becomes 45 instead of 4.5. You are 45, your angel's 45. So there's no 45-45 in the game of tennis because uh, obviously if I said that it means the game of tennis has more to do with the um, angel world than the man's world because you don't use the 45. You're not using the life in this world. Nine lives of the cat is in this world. It's not in the heavens. That means the game of tennis is a game of the heavens. I'm going to separate all the games. There, it's not that hard. Once you hit one and you find the right formula that fits, it's, it's, it's almost like every single piece in the puzzle starts changing the color just so it works for you. It's the way it works. It's, you know what I'm saying? The water, when you put the water in, and it's on a heel, it goes down. It's, it's that simple. Once it starts to click, you start to roll. So I have uh, the one last card I will show you because she supports in her stomach the mug and dubbed. Right in her stomach. Life. See, she's got the checkerboard underneath her chin. Black and red. Both suits. The red spirit and black. Now take a closer look. Look at the design. You don't see the design? Can't tell you because I never finished doing it myself. <laughs> what do you think? I'm going to cheat you. Uh, next thing I want to go on to... <coughs> is that um, man's world can only be in four corners, right? And two sides. And the angel world is four corners and 
two sides. Together they make up the cross of Jesus. You see, if one part was missing, we wouldn't be here. We'd be the other part missing too, and you wouldn't be hearing what I have to say. Are you listening? I need a shave, right? Come over and shave me. Okay. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a half a triangle, okay, which represents the corner okay, of a world. Look at the, look what it actually does. When I create this, it sort of is choppy, and it looks like a backwards one here. It also connects the three corners. See, there's three corners. Remember we always talk about three? Well, here's a corner, and here's three connections. One, two, three. So that's your trinity. I think they may call that shin in Hebrew. I'm not sure. Uh, three corners. So is that a hamantash? Three corners? Maybe that's what they were trying to tell us. You see, all the stories of history are telling us a piece of the advanced future of our past up to our present and into the future. And the immediate future is easy to see. How hard and how far is the ultimate future? Like how many years from now? What do you see? Okay, let's jump off of that, okay? Anyways, that's what we call a 45-degree angle. Another reason why we don't use it in tennis is because it's used here on the earth because we're all blockheads, okay? You know the, the way they say the Englishman is a square head? Here, here's the picture. Why is a square head? Okay, alpha, omega is his head. Man's brain is alpha, omega. Man's brain is alpha, omega. Okay, he comes, he comes in with the mind, and it is the mind that he will live. And they remind us of the mind by the Mayan, the Maya, whatever you want to call them. But the mind is the Alpha Omega of man. It is the only piece. It is called spirit. That is what they call it. It doesn't freeze in the winter when you drink the alcohol spirit, right? Well, your mind doesn't freeze up either. It goes and it goes. But if it does get, what, below minus 90, maybe then it freezes. But that's your birth, that number. So at what point does our um, spirit freeze? Good question. Never thought of it myself. But um, let me go on to this next. Um, so what I do now, okay, is because we have the 45 angle, what I'm going to tell you now on the face of your telephone, the number keys from 1 to 9 equal 45. Now there are three worlds, so there's three ways to look at this. We take the 45 and divide it by the three worlds, we end up with 15 each. The 15th letter in the alphabet is an O, water world, okay? But O is the 15th letter. So the 10th letter is a J, the 5th letter is an E, you have Je over Je over Je. You got three worlds of play right now. Okay. Is there any sport with only three worlds? But wait, there's four corners and four sides. So now we've got a lot of sporting arenas we can build out of this, right? We use the angel world and we go north south. Or we use man's world and we go east west. So what sports are we going east west? And what sports are we going north south? If it's a north south sport, it's from the heavens. If it's an east west sport, it's here. Now, if it's 11 players, okay, it's got to be on earth for many reasons. First of all, in NFL football, it's 50 yards plus the 10 in the end zone makes it 60. So 60 plays with 50 makes it man and angel 11. Pretty cool, eh? So, so you got football at 50 and cat and dog, a letter count together is 50. The angle, the angel, and there's so many 50s I can give you. If I start now, I'll never re forget, but I don't remember to tell you. <laughs> but there are, trust me. Um, anyways, uh, we also have that, and we also um, get, uh, like I said, je, je, je. One je in French is like juice. The other one is juice, like power for the motor juice. Uh, another one is je, like to play a game. Uh, so there's a lot of things with je. Uh, like I said, uh, when Moses was up with uh, with God up on the mountain, and he said, oh, "I am who I am," uh, God was uh, speaking French, and he cannot cannot pronounce the H, so he just said, "I am," 
So now that we said, I am, okay, what we're going to get to now is the uh, je, 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 okay? The word am, a-m, all man, ma, mother, okay? Mother, angel, a-m, all man, and mother, angel. Spirit, one, a letter, first letter in the alphabet, m, 13th letter in the alphabet. In this equation, I broke it up. You see the V in the center? It now becomes a Roman numeral. You see the stick next to it holding it up? Well, that becomes a Roman numeral. Together, it's one V. Then on the other side, I do the same scenario. Code it. Then it becomes V1. V1 is 6. 1 minus V is 5. Plus the one spirit, you have owns. 11. Underneath it, okay, I broke it down one more time. And what I did is I added it up as I went, okay? So I went one plus the other one, okay, equals two, okay? But it's on the minus side because it's be beside the five. So I go plus five equals three, okay? Plus on the other side, plus five equals eight plus one equals nine. So the top number was 11, the bottom number was nine, and you have nine eleven. Yo, Elev, they say in craps. They're calling the student because the Elev, okay, is a new birth. It means a one spirit with a four angel and a six man, just like it shows. I am, okay? We are an I am. So it shows you right there why he calls out in craps, Yo, Elev. But I have in this situation right here, on the bottom of roulette, this is what the bottom shows you. It says a Y upside down and an O upside down. Now it also, okay, turns into the cross. But you have to look at a roulette uh, table. I'm not sure if I have it here, if I did it. But all the numbers in roulette, they're elongated east and west on the table. Did you ever notice the roulette table? It's east and west. It's, it's both worlds. And it's got all the worlds in it because it's going, you can bet... You can bet this way, way of 12s, you can bet this way of 12s, the three rows of 12s, all the colors, so you're like creating creation on the board. That's all you need is the 36, because everything else comes up from the 36. 11 is 99. You want 41. Anyways, um, I didn't find it. Oh, boy, there's so many things. Even, even the letter V... VI, that's another way. You see the V, the Y over there? Now, instead of that one being on the left of the V or on the right, in Roman numerals, it's now underneath. It has many meanings. And again, the meaning in this situation, because we do know the Y in the road leads to the angel. It's also one part of three corners of a dice. Okay, if you put it on the left or the right. But in this situation... Okay, there's a chance that you might be together and you have not split up, and that's why you only see the one line down at the bottom. Okay, it might be splitting it up. Okay, and if you split up that top V, it either turns into a shin, okay, or what happens? It splits up and you have three corners. You have back a Y, and I'm backing off on that part. Okay, I just want to go up to my next. I did this. Yeah, so you have the 11 over here. Um, beta Black Club, Beta Black, Beta Black, the legend, I don't know what, this is crazy, man. I'd like to know a little bit more. IGN Black Beta, the legend of Zelda. I just saw that now, and at the same time I saw it, uh, I started thinking of Beta Black, Beta Black, because, I mean, I think God's got to be the club because the diamond is a spirit card. And, but he's waving his hand in the card, and he shows, I mean, he shows, he shows a mask in the background. I'm not, I mean, the red spirit of God, how does it come from a black club? And they both, club and spade, both need support. And there's no support on a diamond, and there's no support on the heart. So maybe the game of blackjack means it's here on earth as the game in heaven is actually what the Indian said, redhead.